talking about Annihilation, the new map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops. We have four new multiplayer maps, Hangar 18, Silo, Drive-In, and Hazard, and a new Zombies map called Shangri-La. Hangar 18 is based in the highly controversial Area 51, and it has a lot of Easter eggs that play up the conspiracy theory aspect. Hangar 18 is a medium-sized map. It has a pretty classic multiplayer gameplay structure. All the paths lead through and around the hangar. It kind of caters for all game types. You've got your close quarters going through the, the hangar. You've also got some sniper points as well. Strategically, you want to hold down the hangar. You can work with your teammates to really control the four main flow points, then you're going to dominate the map. Silo is based on a Russian underground nuclear missile silo construction site. It's probably one of the largest maps in the entire game. Silo favors players who take their time because there's a lot of flank routes and a lot of interconnecting paths. So players who are smart and use decoys and pay attention to the mini-map are going to be more successful. You can't really stick around in one place for too long because you're going to get shot from multiple angles. You really need to learn how to play the map, how the paths flow, and you need to stay on the move. Nuketown was a really hugely successful and popular map with Black Ops, and we wanted to do another map in the DLC that kind of emulates that style of gameplay. Driving's a fairly small map, but it does have a variation of battles. You've got the wide open area in the middle, the actual driving itself, but then you do have close quarter battles down the side. So Hazard was inspired by one of our World at War maps called Cliffside, but it's a complete reimagining of it. We've actually turned it into a golf course. It's a great level. Hazard is probably one of the only maps in the game that focuses almost exclusively on long-distance engagements. And the long-range snipers and LMG gunners and assault rifle guys are going to have an advantage. You're definitely going to want to avoid the fairway if you're not a sniper and stick to the edges of the map where there's some more intense choke points and medium-range engagements. The story in Shangri-La is shrouded in mystery. I love to leave it up to the fans to derive their own ideas from it and also discover the effects that we put in there. I hope they really get the sense that we've taken this to just a whole nother level with the new weapons, the new environment, the new ways of getting around the map and things like that. There's a lot of holding areas, escape hatches, and things that let you get out at the last minute, which is a contrast to Call of the Dead where it was a very wide open map. This is a much tighter map. Don't hold out too long. If things look like they're getting rough, get out of there. <laughs> It's time to go. With Annihilation, we had a goal that we really wanted to push the visuals on all the maps. Each map feels very unique from one another. They feel like the kind of maps that you just want to spend a lot of time in. Annihilation hits Xbox Live Marketplace on June 28th.